basically. This is um, editing uh, M particle meshes, basically. So uh, if you, I should really do this as a separate one. Never mind, I've started now. Okay. Um, if you. So, if we say we want 15 bubbles. If I make the bubbles, it'll put it all in a line and then connect it and build the mesh. So, basically, what we end up with is a controllable. So, if I. This longer. If I press play. So now I can control the end particles by using these controls. Which is quite helpful. Just gives you extra control and also you can um, change the radius. So now it's much bigger. You can go negative as well. So if I do it that way, let's play. You can see it sort of eating into the actual, into the actual geometry, which is, is quite a nice effect sometimes. Um, so you've got all that, and then you've also got the normal uh, extra options, which come included with M particles. I will add more into it. But so it's just the at the moment it's just the standard sort of you don't want to go too low with this because then it starts getting really heavy. So maybe I think yeah, so that might be good enough. But then you can sort of move this around. Create some weird looking things. also got the option to um, so make it dynamic so if I turn dynamics on it'll just drop uh, let's start this one again actually just so you can see well basically or if I press play make it not dynamic set them and then turn on the dynamics you should see it they'll start from the beginning so how we've set it up Obviously, you can turn on the plane, but since the plane's so close, let's make it. So there we go. So at least we'll get a little bit of dropping there. Yeah. So, so you can see it falling. Obviously, you can can completely control. You can animate these. So if I wanted to, let's turn dynamics off. Set them. So if I want to key it now, it will basically control where the end particle actually is. So it's kind of it's just a quick and easy way of controlling end particles. Um, so there's an, another thing you can do with it is so you can if we do 35 oh, let's do 50 and then make a random bubble so it's gonna position them randomly um, let's make them random sizes so now if I rewind you can get some nice splats sort of well not splats but weird shapes and if I hit random bubble size again it'll change and again so you could most probably if we select all the controls hmm. 
I'll just key the radius and then go to another key another key so now we should have some weird animation let's make it less let's make it less um, heavy so there, now we should get some quicker pulsing animation. Um, I've also set up a shader on here so you can automatically just render it. So it comes out like this. Obviously you'd want to change a few things to it, but it's just a, a base shader. Um, where's the lights actually? should be some lights that come in as well. Nope, maybe not. No, no lights on this one yet. But basically, yeah, so you've got um, just the default shader on there, you can change it. Not sure if it'll work with Render Man, might do. Sort of works with Render Man. Yeah, so it takes the alpha, just doesn't take the colour information, but it's more the alpha that you kind of really want. Um, anyway, I've spoken for long enough, so cheers.